Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for watching. If it, this is your first time, please like and subscribe to my channel. Um, Carmen and Jason's Journey is this channel's name and that is because it is after um, for me and my husband and we talk a lot about uh, our journey together. But this video today is going to um, pretty much be focused around Carmen's Journey, which is me. The question that I've been getting, a lot of people have been asking me, and you may not even realize this yet, but I just published my first ebook, and I'm telling you, like, I am geeked and just, like, I can't even believe myself. So I am not an expert. I don't know anything. I literally just went on a whim, and I'll tell you a little bit about that in a minute, but I'm just going to give you, you know, my backstory a little bit. So um, I've been really into probably for the last 10 years, a lot of people are into the law of attraction, um, the secret movie, everything like that. I'm sorry, I got an alarm here in turn. Um, but a lot of people are into the secret and the law of attraction and things like that. Well, I first learned about the secret and the law of attraction, maybe I will say honestly, probably about 12, 13 years ago. Um, so ever since I learned about it, I just was obsessed with learning how the secret worked and everything like that. And I started applying the things from the secret movie as well as the book and the audio tape. Like I've listened to them all for like years. Um, so I started applying those things into my personal life. And um, that's a whole nother video for an another time. But I will tell you that was the first step that I took. And today what I want to do is talk about seven steps that I took to publish my ebook. So the first step that I took was number one is you have to have a vision. You have to have a vision of what it is that you want to do. And um, actually, I'm going to show you something. So there was, um, in December of 2018, I started doing what I normally do every year. And I come up with what I want my visions to be for the upcoming year or what I want to manifest and what I want to see come true. So this year, I did a little something different or, you know, last year, I did a little something different. Instead of me creating a vision board, I created, um, I created a vision book. And so in this vision book, I got this from Walmart and the, uh, I'll just give you a little, you have, see, I got paper in there and then I have like um, just all types of, of things. So I have like my visions written down. And I also have images and things like that that I want to manifest in my life. And it may not happen in that year, but there's things that I want to manifest. And as I manifest them, I will remove them or I'll check them off and then I'll add the new things for the new year. But one thing that I had written, did not even realize it until this happened, but I had wrote that I wanted to become an author. Never, <laughs> don't have any like, you know, I'm not good with grammar and like all of these things that, you know, author would do. But one of my good friends, she actually is an author. So I reached out to her and I asked her, you know, what do you do if you want to become an author? And she told me that um, the first thing you need to do is just to get started. So number one is you have to have a vision that you want to actually write an ebook. And um, the second thing is... Um, <clears throat> what is the what is it that you're passionate about? What is it that you want to write about? <clears throat> so that was the other thing um, that kind of goes hand in hand. Um, but for me specifically, I had, like I said, I wrote this down in December, totally forgot about it. My vision book was, you know, tucked away someplace. And I didn't pull this out until this actually just happened. But when I did it, I remembered that I had wrote this down in my vision book. And I mean, I'm telling y'all, I was tripping like, oh my goodness, I wrote this down. This is something that I wanted to do. This was something I wanted to manifest. And this was my vision. And when I first started, my vision for my the book that I was going to write had nothing to do with the book that I wrote. So in February of 2019, this year, my husband and I started our own online e-commerce store. 
and we began selling CBD hemp products based um, sourced from Colorado. And um, that's a whole nother video. But anyhow, that's where we got started. And I, and I just become so passionate about the, the subject of CBD because of how it changed my life and also how it changed my family's life, dealing with chronic pain, dealing with uh, inflammation from like fibromyalgia and also dealing with depression. And so the effects that we had from CBD, I learned so much just from doing my own personal research, going to the library, delving deep and getting all of this information. And then once we begin to sell it over the last year, I began to get so many people having different questions. So I would post blogs on my website and everything like that um, to kind of address some of the you know, main topics that people were asking. And then I would try to tie those into my business pages on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, things like that. So the first thing I mentioned was about the vision. And so my vision was my business around CBD. What are you passionate about? And then what happened as of recently, um, I had, we hadn't been making a ton of money. Mostly the sales that we get are from family and friends. So it's been picking up, but nowhere near where we would like it to be. Um, so I told my husband and myself, again, we sat down and we wrote down what our goals were for the upcoming year for 2020. And I said, if Ezotopia.com, which is our business, does not start to make money, then I am going to either let it go or I got to do something. But I can't just make a wish and want it to make money. I'm going to have to do something to make a difference. So my goal was to... Um, learn everything that I could about marketing the business and focus on the marketing because we already know we have a quality product. And if your product really doesn't matter, it's the marketing. And then I also realized that I haven't really educated anyone or given them a reason to purchase the products because <clears throat> they, they, a lot of CBD is so new. I think looking into marketing the business is I came across someone's YouTube channel and they had mentioned this marketing platform that they used and it was called ClickFunnels. So I never heard of ClickFunnels. I went on their website and was just reading about the information and how ClickFunnels worked and they had where you can do like a 14 day trial. And it was more like you would be creating a sales funnel for your business to funnel people into buy your product. Well, little did I know at the time, I signed up for the 14 day challenge. I logged onto the site and I'm telling you, it was just like, okay, where do I start? I didn't know where to start or what to do. So from there, I signed up for their like a mentor phone call. And, you know, at the time I thought, okay, there's going to be one guy calling me and we're going to be on Zoom and he's going to teach me all about how to use ClickFunnels. Well, no, that wasn't how it happened. Um, it was more like a coaching session that went on for half an hour and there was multiple people on the call where you could ask questions, but it wasn't tailored to just you. But on the call, there was people that had mentioned this 30-day um, one funnel away challenge and it really intrigued me. So I wanted to find all, you know, all the information I could about this challenge because I'm always game for a challenge. So, um, I went ahead and got the information from that call and I signed up for the 30 day challenge. The 30 day challenge cost about $97. And when I tell you that this challenge changed my life. Like I learned so much about marketing. This challenge, it was priceless. Um, you know, there was so much support in the group. You know, you went through Facebook and every day you were, you received a, you know, notification from Facebook, like messenger that this is your challenge for the day, get prepared. Then you would go into the group, find the challenge. There would be videos and the um, founder of ClickFunnels, his name is Russell Bronson. 
And this guy has energy. Like, I mean, just I, my goal one day is to meet Russell Brunson and just tell him how he changed my life from just that one funnel away challenge. And this is only the beginning because I just finished the challenge up like a week ago. So I'm not even completely finished with everything and where I want to go with this. Um, so the first thing, once I did the challenge, um, one thing that I remember that Russell said on the very first day is he said that you have to believe in yourself. That is the only way that this challenge is going to work. If you don't believe it's not going to work, then it's not going to work. And that is so true. You have to believe that whatever it is, if you want to write this ebook, the first thing you do is have to, or the second thing, because the first thing is having a vision. And the second thing is you have to believe in yourself. You have to believe that you can actually do it. And so that is what got me started on my, um, that was the beginning. That was the beginning of this journey that I, this new journey, I should say. Um, so the, the third thing is we talked about, you know, having a vision believing you can do it. And then the, the third thing is. To be passionate about the subject that you're going to write about. And I told you my passion about CBD because CBD, I know the benefits and how it can transform people's lives. And I am a CBD advocate. I completely believe in CBD. And if you check out my book, um, CBD, my ebook, CBD Best Kept Secrets, you will be able to learn the education and understand the facts on how CBD can actually benefit your life and maybe it's something that you want to look into trying. But that's another story too. But you know, you, you want to be passionate about the thing that the subject that you're going to write about. Um, and I also have uh, from there, I won't even go into all that, but step four, um, so step four is, is the thing that I, I also want to tell you the step four, the other thing that I want to tell you about is you have to put in the work, like nothing is given to you. So you have to be able to take, like my husband will tell you he's at work right now, but I would get off work, um, get home about five or six o'clock in the evening, depending on the day and traffic. And I would be on my computer doing my challenges until sometimes 3 a.m., then getting back up at 6 a.m. to go to work. And so you have to be dedicated and you have to make the time because it is going to take time. Like no one, there is no easy way around it. It's just like when someone says they want to lose weight and they want to take a fast route. Well, there really is no fast route. So you have to put in the work, meaning you have to sit down, um, pull all your information together and actually create your masterpiece, okay? And so that's where I go into step number five is content. Where are you gonna get your content from? Do you already have blogs that you can pull together. So that was one thing that I sourced. I took all of my blogs and pulled that information um, into my ebook. And then another thing is there is something that is called the public domain. Um, I'm going to read this here so that I'm, I am precise. But the public domain is a creative material that is not protected by the intellectual property law, such as copyright, trademark, patent laws, and the public actually owns these works. Um, it is not an individual or an author or an artist. And so um, no one really owns it, but you can actually have resale rights to the public domain information, meaning you can go out and there is no reason for you to reinvent the wheel if someone's already put in the research and the information is already available to you. So you can pull information from the public domain um, in order to put the content into your book. So it all just depends on your subject and some information they have out there. Some people, you know, there may not be anything out there, um, but that is another option. I will tell you the the uh, platform that I use is called ebook 
ebookjunkie.com. So ebookjunkie.com had tons of information for me to pull into my ebook so I didn't go out and have to reinvent the wheel. So I used content that I already had and that was already created. Another key resource to get content I've used myself and you can, there is I'm sure tons of ways that you can get content. But another way that I did sometime is, um, this was something I also learned from ClickFunnels is you need to know the who. So you may not know how to do everything. Maybe you're not a blogger and you don't have all this information on hand readily, but you can hire someone on, I use the platform called Fiverr, F-I-V-E-R-R.com. Um, so you look up someone on Fiverr who uh, may already be interested in blogging on your topic. So I would look up CBD bloggers and um, you can you send them the information that you want them to write about and they will go and do the work for you and you pay them. So it's just like having an employee to do the work for you, but you don't need to be an expert. You don't need to know everything. You just have to have the passion, the vision and the dream and then you bring it all together and have all these other pieces where you can gather the the content from. Um, so I'm sure that there's other ways that you can get content, but those are the ways that I used to um, create my ebook. And so step six is, I remember I mentioned the who. Um, now that you have all of this content together, now you're gonna need to actually turn it into an ebook. I am not an expert at that. I am not a, um, you know, I am a very computer savvy person, but I don't have time to go and learn a new system on, you know, how am I going to put this together so for it to become published. So that is something else that you can outsource. You can hire someone once you have all of your content together. This is another resource that I used on Fiverr. And I'll put the links below um, as far as the people that I use. I am not recommending those people. I am not tied to them. They're just people that I use. So it would be at your own risk if you use these ones. They did very well for me. And that would be completely up to you. Um, but using Fiverr, uh, I told them exactly what I wanted. So the first thing I did was do a search at the top of the um, Fiverr screen. <laughs> said that I was looking for someone who could, you know, create an ebook for me um, from my content. And so that is the next thing that I did. Um, so I sent them all, of, I'm, I'm thinking my phone's about to die, I don't know, but I sent them all of my content, meaning my blog separate, my PDFs, everything that I had. And um, I did kind of put things together as far as like my table of contents and formatted things in the way that I wanted them. And I will say this as an error of caution, make sure that you spell check it even after you get it back because I did have some errors and I had to go through and send some things back a few times to the contractor that I worked with and had them fix certain things. And um, that is one thing that I will mention that I, like I said, I, I learned from ClickFunnels is that um, you want to have what they, what you want to have a Rolodex of the who's. So if you don't know how to do something, create your Rolodex of who knows how to do it. And then if, you know, if you got to save up the money to do it, then you can do that. But it's not that expensive. I mean, I think I will honestly say like, but I've had tons of blogs created. So maybe each blog is like $30, something like that. So it does cost money, but there's something that, that if you're passionate about it, you can do it yourself. You don't need someone to do it for you, but that was the easiest step for me because I work full time and I don't have time to sit here and write blogs. I, I got a podcast, I got a YouTube channel, I got my business. So it's a lot of things that I'm doing. So you cannot try to do everything yourself you know, source out and use resources from other people. And um, yeah, so create your Rolodex. That's the next thing. That That is step number six is know the who, create your Rolodex and hire some people to help you make your vision become reality. 
Um, and now to step number seven. Now here is the great part. You're not gonna believe it. You get your book back from the person or you did it yourself. You figured out how to publish, self-publish it and create it in Kindle, which you can do that as well. Um, but I'm, I didn't do that, so I can't speak on it. Uh, so uh, now that your book is finished and you are ready to publish it, the next step that you're going to do is, you know, now that your book is ready and you're ready to publish it, I will tell you exactly what I did. I had no one to tell me what to do. So you know what I did? I used my friend Google. So I Googled, how do you self-publish an ebook? So there is no secret here. Everything is online. It was how to publish your ebook on Amazon. The website is KD p.amazon.com kdp.amazon.com I will put the link below as well um, so once you sign on you actually have to create an Amazon account if you don't have one already and then once you you sign in you will see um, I think it's in the up left corner I'll try to include that in the video but um, it's Kindle Direct Publishing. There's an icon there. Go ahead and create a new title, a Kindle ebook, and um, find, and you, they will also tell you, if you click on find out step by step, they will walk you through step by step on how to publish your ebook. It is not hard, y'all, okay? Um, so it will sh they will show you on Amazon how to self-publish your ebook. Um, one thing I will mention is once you get started, the first thing it's going to ask you is for your title, um, the author, as well as your description. So if you've ever ordered anything off of Amazon, you know how the description kind of gives you a big idea of what you're about to purchase, as well as reviews. But if you're brand new starting a book, you're not going to have reviews yet. So what you'll want to do is be very descriptive. And you can go, and what I did was just go look at other people's books that was similar to my book and, okay, get an idea of how they wrote their description and boom, there you go. Don't have to reinvent the wheel. Just look for examples and then make it your own. Don't plagiarize, but make it your own, okay? And so the next thing, because you want your book to stand out, so after that, you want to also choose the right keywords. They're going to ask you for keywords. And these are things that people could be potentially Googling. And so you want to be very specific in your keywords and words that you think people that will search so that they can find your book on Amazon. And the next thing is you want to select the right category. Amazon will help you with this. Um, now from this point is the big shebang. You go ahead and upload your manuscript that what I did was the manuscript that I received from um, the person on Fiverr. And so I had, I think five different formats. One was like EPUB, um, then a PDF, and then there's like a Mobi file and there's all different files, but Amazon will tell you which files are accepted. And I only needed to upload one file, which made it where it would be visible on um, iPads, iPhones, Android devices, everything like that. You'll get to preview it and you'll see how beautiful your book looks and how it's going to look to your readers once you upload the manuscript. Excuse me. So the next thing from there, um, they're going to ask you to attach an ebook cover. Now, guys, this is something else that I will say try to do early on if you can. I also hired someone on Fiverr to um, go through and I gave them the vision. So you have to remember this is still your thing. You give the vision and they try to bring your vision to life. So it may take you six, seven, I don't know, could take 10, could take three. It just depends on how picky you are as a person. I'm a little picky. So I sent, I sent, you know, this was my vision. Um, all you have to do is go on Fiverr, look for someone who creates ebook covers. And then once you find that person, share them your, share, chat with them first. That's another thing. If you're using Fiverr, don't just purchase, um, don't just go ahead and, and purchase a service. Chat with the person first. 
really get a feel to see if that person is going to work for you or not because I've chatted with many people and I said, nah, this ain't the person. So just kind of chat with someone to see, you know, if that person is going to work for you, if they can bring your vision to life just based on the conversation that you're having as well as the reviews and how, you know, how well they've performed on other orders similar to yours. And also ask for proof of work. That's something else that I did. And uh, yeah, because everybody ain't fit to bring your vision to life, okay? So um, yeah, so we're talking about the ebook cover. So once you find someone or if you're a graphic designer, I am not. So I hired someone to design my ebook cover and you that will be separate from your book. So when, that's why I said you want to do that first because when you submit your book, you know, all of your information, all of your content to the person that's actually going to turn all of your content into it, um, be able to be published on an ebook format. So they're pretty much just converting all of your documents into a ebook format. So once they do all of that, you want to be able to provide them with the cover up front so that can be part of your book. So it's not something separate. Okay. So, um, but you will have the separate file when it comes time to um, attach it to, or to upload it into Amazon. So technically you don't have to have it with your ebook because you're going to pull that in separate. So no, so take back what I said and just know that you, you can have your ebook separate the cover the, from your entire manuscript. Those two things can be separate. E-cover manuscript and then combine the two okay and so the last thing you do after you upload your manuscript you upload your cover um and amazon will help you with all of this step by step then you will price your book and i recommend um this is something else i found online i recommend is pricing your book between two dollars and 99 cents to nine dollars and ninety nine cent, and then you can increase your book price by a dollar every week. Um, this is what the experts that I've read just along the line have said has made it more successful. Um, and something that I did not mention in here is um, you also want to have a marketing game plan, and that's why I joined ClickFunnels because. You can have all of these beautiful products, this beautiful book. Um, you can have all of these grandiose ideas and nobody knows it exists. So, you know, <laughs> you don't want to go and spend all this time and effort and don't have a marketing plan to get your book marketed. So that's a whole nother video that I could create on how to market your ebook. And maybe I will. Let me know below if you want me to, you know, talk about that. Um, but I, that's all I got today, guys. And I hope this video was useful. I was trying not to make it too long. Just wanted to bring the people what they're asking for and go check out my ebook. Tell me what you think. My first ebook. And I'm just excited about that. So you could actually download it on amazon.com. You can, uh, look in the search box, CBD, best Kept Secrets, written by Rita Twitty. And one more thing before I go, I'll give you a quick little backstory on the authorship of my name. So, um, you know, have you ever read like Dr. Seuss books or, you know, just even other non-fictional books or, you know, know about newscasters and, and you're like, oh, that, that name, I don't know if that's their real name or not. Well, they're called pseudonyms. So you can create a pseudonym for your book if you want to create like a series of books and you don't want them tied to your personal name. Um, Rita is my nickname. People have called me that my whole life. But Twitty is just a pseudonym name that I use for, um, that I'm going to use this for all my books. So if you see Rita Twitty, that is me and I am she. <laughs> But yeah, thanks again for watching. Check out my podcast, Ezotopia Happy Hemp Hour. You can find me on Facebook at Ezotopia LLC, Instagram at Ezotopia, and that's E-I-Z-O-T-O-P-I-A. Or you can also visit me at, um, you can email me at Rita Twitty at Ezotopia.com. 
thanks guys for watching and I really appreciate your time and effort. Please comment below um, what you think about all this or if you have any questions or something that you want me to talk about. In the next video, I'll bring Jason back because I'm trying to get him motivated to create a sports podcast around a topic that he is passionate about. Peace. And guess what? Have a happy, wonderful new year. Make it prosperous. Set your intentions. Believe in yourself and have a vision, honey. Okay? Love, peace, and happiness.